Ah, yes, the meadow grass plantation. So we got some damage over the winter here, but uh, still, if you recall, we did a bit of video on, on the planting of this and everything from last year. There's some great flowers that are starting to show themselves. But then I really wanted to talk about all the different grasses that were in here and the American goldfinch. And where does the goldfinch go? Look at all these different grasses here. Really, I'm going to hone in on this seed here. See the seed on the top of this? These meadow grasses? Look at that. That's what the goldfinch want. Hey, how we doing? So, what happens to the goldfinch? Well, a nice view. Where do they go? We have them all winter. I've got five nitro seed tubes going here that we've been filling probably once a week. Uh, for until last year from last year about this time. So where do the goldfinches go? So I was just showing you a bunch of different the grasses and things that we planted in this meadow uh, Plot that we had had from last year and we got to take a look at the American goldfinch. They're here all year uh, They become very vibrant and bright the males do in the, in the spring And they show their colors. They're a very active bird. They do a lots of singing um, They're at our feeders constantly and then poof, they're gone about mid-May to first part of June. Where do they go? Well, there's a bit of migration that takes place. They go up to the boreal forest a little bit, so we lose some of our population, leaves our area here in eastern Ontario, and they head up towards the boreal forest. Um, a lot of people don't know that uh, the American goldfinch doesn't nest until probably mid-July, into August perhaps, sometimes a little later, sometimes a little earlier. Why is that? Well, they want all the ripe seeds that I was just showing you. They feed their young the seeds. So if you think about our feeders and our niger seed tubes, we have those very small holes that we put the wild finch blend that we have and or the niger seed in there. They pick those seeds out of those small holes, which simulates them picking wild grasses, thistle seeds, weed seeds, all those things that they pick off the top of the plant. So you'll often see them sitting on the top of the plant. So this plantation that I put in here last year, almost immediately last year when, the, when some of the plant matter started to grow, we found that, that the American goldfinches were in here and they were sitting on the top of the weeds and grasses and plants that are here and we're eating and picking the seeds out. So that's why they leave our feeders and are gone. So a lot of times people say, well, what's happened? What had, where'd they go? Why? Is it my feeder? Is it dirty? Is it moldy? Is the seed uh, gone bad because of moisture and those things? As we've said in earlier videos, and if you check out our YouTube channel and take a look at that, we have expressed and talked about what makes a better finch feeder than another. But most often this time of year, so mid-May into June, into the middle of June, finches are gone. Like, as I say, I have my five tubes here. This morning there was like three goldfinches. Uh, often we'd have 23 or 33 or 43 finches here on a regular basis, and then they, they escape. So they don't nest till later into the summer. They wait for the ripe seeds to feed their young. They're off doing their thing. Um, there's, you know, great time then to bring in your feeders, empty them out, let the seed air out that's in there, save it. You don't have to get rid of it unless it, you can tell that it's moldy or something. Uh, clean out your feeders, get them ready because they're going to return. So that's a you know interesting little conversation about American goldfinch. They're a beautiful little bird. They're with us year round, and they leave us in the spring and find elsewhere to go. So have yourself a great day sitting here on the banks of the Ottawa River with the nesting box beside me. Have yourself a wonderful day.